Good morning. So today is Saturday. I am about to go run some errands, but today I'm going to finally like do my room, you know, decorate it, revamp it, whatever it's called. And I bought this um, bone tripod and I was hoping that <clears throat> the top was like this, excuse me, so that I could put my camera on it and it is. So this is supposed to be like I got it from Amazon, of course, but this is supposed to be like, um, like I think like five feet, like it's supposed to be for the floor, I guess, I didn't read the instructions, I just opened it, um, like it's supposed to go high, so, whoop, and it did, and it did, it's an echo, because I'm in my laundry closet, but, um, Oh yeah, this is perfect. Well, how about that? I mean, I kind of figured that's how it would be because that's how the, the mini, um, like the little handheld ones for your phone are. It has this, and then I can just screw my um, my camera to this. But right now, what I'm about to do is wash my my linen, <laughs> wash like my sheets and stuff. That way, by the time I come back, all I gotta do is throw them in the dryer. And then while they're drying, I can, um, like start doing my room. But I just have to figure out how to lock this. Oh, that's it. Um, let's put it right here. So these little things here, you go up and down. You just close them. Mm. So if you have if you get a tripod for any reason, that's how you do it. Well, let me just adjust it. Now obviously it's meant for a phone. So if I drop this and destroy my camera, it's nobody's fault but my own. <laughs> but my camera is, it's a little vlog camera. So I think it'll be fine because it's not heavy. But it's not the most sturdy, but like I said, it's for your phone. So it's not really supposed to be. But um, let me see if it goes up and down. does okay okay cool i mean i don't know if anyone well i guess if you're like into making tiktoks and reels because i did buy this for reels but i'm the absolute worst with instagram i always tag my page down below but i'm like not ever on it i only post um i only post my thumbnails when i make a new video so i'm like hey new video but I'm the worst on there. And I bought this to, not even for Instagram. I wanted to get into YouTube shorts, which are like reels for um, YouTube. So that's the reason why I got this, but I still haven't used it yet. But either way, I need a full tripod for my camera. And now I have one. All right, so I have, so I got the pillowcase and sheet set from Kohl's. Like I mentioned, I wanted to do white. And then I got my, what is this? I got the duvet and the cover from Ikea. But you know, that's like German or Dutch or whatever the heck. Um, yeah, so I got the duvet from Ikea. And then the duvet cover. Because I am like, boy <laughs> when i tell you i am like a hot sleeper like sometimes i'll be waking up this is gonna sound nasty and gross but like my neck be like soaking wet <laughs> from sweat but i'll be too tired to get up and fix the ac so i just deal with it but um so i wanted to try a duvet and a duvet cover to see if that's like less hot 
because I'm one of them people that it doesn't matter what the temperature is. It could be a hundred degrees. I'm going to fall asleep with nothing, but when I wake up, I'm going to be covered in something. So I always have something on me under the cover, under the sheet, whatever. So I thought to maybe try this and hope that it's not super hot because like my thick comforter, which I didn't think it was super thick. I don't know. But like I said, I'm just hot either way. But I got this one because at Ikea, if you've never bought their, um, like their duvets or du duvet covers or whatever, they have the temperature. So like if you're a hot sleeper, you would get one, one of these two. And then like if you're really cold, then obviously you would get like the warmest. So I got this to try. So we're going to hope that it goes well. I'm just looking to see if I just wash it like normal since it's right. I hope there's nothing special about it. I mean, it's from Ikea, so I feel like probably not, but... It's nice and, wait, is this the, y'all, I don't even know. I never used a duvet before or a duvet cover, so I don't even know what's what. <clears throat> I'm thinking this is the cover. It says polyester, so I guess I can wash it like normal. It's soft. Oh, you know what? Let's put it together. Never mind. I'm just thinking out loud. So my errands today, what I got to do is I bought um, I bought something. I have to make a return. And the one of the grocery stores where I live has a post office. And I think obviously since it's Saturday, they're not going to have like the all day hours. So I'm just going to go there. And then I want to make um, Sunday dinner tomorrow. So I'm going to. Oh, this is a, mm, these feel a little rough. <laughs> I guess we'll see. These are thick. Hold up because. No, what is. Is this? Oh, this is the cover. Okay. Mm, I don't know about the shawl. Yeah, this is the cover. I mean, but if I don't like this, I can just always go get another, you know, get a cover from somewhere else. Because I think it's queen. Oh, no, it's... It's full queen, so I could just go and get a, um, a full queen from somewhere else. But I'm going to try it and see. So that's that. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, I want to make um, Sunday dinner tomorrow. So I'm going to go get the stuff for that. Ooh. I don't know if I'm going to take you guys with me. I think I might just see you when I come back, but that's it. Those are my plans for today. Go make a return at the post office. Oh, these pillowcases seem big. Well, maybe not. Oh, that's what I need to do. That was like my entire hold up for my room. So I need to go get pillows. I'll probably go to TJ Maxx and get those. And then go to I need nails for my picture that I want to hang up that I'm kind of debating if I should hang up or if I should just sit it on my nightstand I probably do like you know an option type thing and then that way I can see these are like not even really all the same shades of white <laughs> right, let me hold it up so I can show you so this is the white sheets and this is the duvet. So, like I said, I'm still going to do everything and then just see how it goes. So, today. And it's not a lot because I'm always like, yeah, I'm going to get up and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. I do this and that and then I'm done. <laughs> but so today I got to make that return. I have to do that within like two weeks so I'm definitely doing that because I need my money back. 
Um, and then I need to get pillows. And then, oh, nails. And that's it. Oh, and then the food. So you'll see when I come back. But for tomorrow, I want to make ribs, baked mac and greens. So I'm really trying to have like a Sunday dinner dinner. Um, I already got the ribs. So I just got to get the greens. And the stuff for the Big Mac is easy. I'm only making a small one. And then that's it. So let me put this stuff in the washer. And then like I said, I'll probably just see you guys when I get back. I don't think I'm going to take you guys with me. And I don't even know if you guys be wanting to go with me because y'all don't comment. You got to comment and let me know. Yeah, you should have took us with you. Nah, we see you when you get back. We seen you do that before. Like, let me know. Help me, help you, help me, help you, help me, help you. Don't mind my, um, my, my laundry closet trash. <laughs> I want to obviously, you know, redo all this too. So that's on the list. So I just have this for now until I decide what I'm going to do for my lint trash. <laughs> because it is dark all right so I got my little tripod now I took these out before I left but like I said tomorrow I'm making ribs and they are leaking well defrosting all right so I didn't do like a um, grocery shopping I just literally got what I want for tomorrow so, like I said, I wanted to make greens. I went to Walmart. I get the bag. And, and then I got this stuff for the baked mac. So I got one pound. I think this is one pound pasta. If not, it's 16 ounces. I don't know how many ounces are in a pound. So I got the pasta. So this is going to be my first time making a small one. So I'm hoping I have like enough cheese. So I just got Kobe, um, Kobe Jack cheese and then medium cheddar. And then of course, Velveeta. And then you need sour cream. And milk and already you need eggs I already have eggs and then I just got some pizza crust because last time I was there it was sold out this is actually not the one that I like this is original I like the thin crust but they didn't have it so I got that to try and this is for tomorrow I'm gonna tell my mom to come over I'm sure she will but she likes cherry Pepsi so I got that one and then some strawberries because me and my friend were talking about making chocolate covered strawberries and i have chocolate left over from the last time i got it so i just got these to make that i might make them tomorrow and then since it's fall coming fall time they have these now so i got the small single caramel apple and then i just got a roasted chicken that I, oh this is leaking Son of a gun. All right, so I'll try to show you. They used to make it in like um, like a container with a lid. It was like a bowl with a lid, and they decided to leave the bag, and now it's leaking all over the place. But I'll probably just cut this up and freeze it for another time that I want to make something with chicken. Darn it. Oh, 
And I think I mentioned that I needed nails. They didn't have none. You would have thought that it was like nail season or something. It was completely empty. So then I did just go to Ross and I got pillows. These were two for $14.99. So I got that one. That one is Sealy Luxury Knit. And then I got Nautica Charcoal Knit. And these were $14.99 as well. I was gonna get two of these, but this was the last one they had for jumbo, like regular size. The other size were king king size, which is a long pillow, which I don't have that. So that's why I got two different ones. So whichever one is the most comfortable will be the ones in the front that I sleep on. And then that's it. So I'm going to wipe these off um, and put them away. And then I'm going to put my, put the whites, you know, the sheets and stuff that I got in the dryer. And I'm trying to decide if I want to put my room revamp, whatever. I don't know what to call it, as y'all can tell. I'm trying to decide if I want to put that in this vlog or just make this vlog like a daily vlog or weekend vlog or something like that and then do the room separate. I guess it depends on how long it takes me to do the room and how much footage that'll actually be. Because if it's super long, I don't want to put everything in this video and have like an hour vlog. I think that's too long. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But I'll be back. <laughs> watch some TV most likely Food Network because on weekends that's usually what I watch and then after that I'm going to tackle that room so wish me luck y'all okay you guys so it is the next day I got my scarf on because I washed my hair and I did a little pony pony so let me show you my room I decided to do it in another video so by the time you guys see this vlog you will have seen the creation of this but so this is the final project and I have this here in that video I asked for your opinion on um, if I should leave it there or put it up here I'm I decided already I'm gonna put it there <laughs> but um so like I mentioned I didn't have any I wasn't able to get nails from the store yesterday so that's why it's just sitting there for now and then I put my TV up and the plan was to get one of those things to hide the cord, which I thought I did, but I ended up getting something that hides the outlet. I don't even know how I did that. But, um, so yeah, that's that. And then I want to, I want to get a mirror for right there. So in the previous vlog, I returned this gigantic mirror that I had was gray, but I was thinking to get like a frameless mirror I want to put like a big one right there but I figure it's smart to get one that's frameless that way whenever I decide to change this furniture I don't have to worry about matching a mirror but then I was kind of thinking so I really like that picture a lot and then I was thinking about getting like one or two more so since this is I mean putting the mirror there that will obviously give it you know it won't be so empty and you know mirror mirrors give like 
the what is the word like it makes the space feel bigger but I was thinking if I should get another picture or two like that and hang them there or if having the mirror there would be enough so but either way so I want to definitely get um a mirror I'm going to put that up there and then I have to get back on Amazon and order the thing to hide the cord but some of the ones that I've seen, they said when you take them off, it like rips up the wall. So I have to try to find one that doesn't do that. And yeah. And then as far as my bed tray goes, if you guys have any ideas, um, let me know. But my friend told me I could put like um, a journal or something there. Um, so I was, I probably look for that. And then I was thinking to maybe get a smaller candle. These are just what I had yesterday, so that's why I put them on there. I already knew that I wanted to put a candle, but I had the room spray kind of tucked back a bit. So I was like, oh, you know what? Since they're both pink and matches, let me just throw them on there now. So I do want to end up getting a candle and a room spray that matches. Um, pink's fine, but I don't want pink for the decoration, so... So it's a new day. I went to Whole Foods. So, I don't know if I'll put it in or not, but I, I tried a, um, a Club Pilates class this morning. It was nice. It was just like the intro one, so it was only half an hour. And I liked it, but it's expensive. They said, matter of fact, I got it here. They said for, first of all, you have to commit for three months when you sign up. So, the minimum is four classes a month for $99, eight classes a month for $159, and unlimited classes a month for $199. So, I probably won't be going back. They do have an option to do one for $29, which would make the most sense for me if I wanted to try it, but I don't know. But this is, this is what it is. And like what they're laying on, it's like this, it kind of looks like a, I don't even know how to describe it. Let me see if there's another picture in here. Oh, so you can kind of see a little bit like what she's on. It's like a, a table or a bed or something like that. And it like moves back and forth and you do different, I don't know. But it, I liked it, but that's expensive. So I wouldn't be regular, that's for sure. But anyway, like I said, there's a Whole Foods. That's like 30 minutes from where I live. And there's a Whole Foods next to where the Club Pilates was. So, of course, I had to stop. So I just got some butter lettuce. Because I'm going to make um, taco wraps. So I wanted to get... I seen this and I was like, oh, I can get that and make taco wraps. And then I got... some sea salt and vinegar chips and then barbecue these were two for seven i think so and then i got some mozzarella cheese sticks they were only three something i mean it's still frozen but i figure since they're for at whole foods they got to be a little bit a little bit healthier than the ones that are not from whole foods and then I got some guacamole to try. I'm showing you the top. Um, I got the spicy one. There was a girl working there and I asked her if she tried it. And she said that it's different every time because it said, I don't know if it says it on here. Yeah, it doesn't say it on there. But they make it in the store. So she said every time it's different. So sometimes it's like, I guess, more spicy than others. I like spicy stuff, but not like flaming hot. So we'll see. And then I got some I don't know, cold pressed fruit juice smoothies. So I got a vital berry. And it is apple, strawberry, raspberry, orange, mango, and acerola or acerola whatever that is and then strawberry lemonade which is my favorite like drink i guess period <laughs> and it's just literally strawberry and lemonade 
And then I got, oh, lastly, um, Olipop. I feel like I may have shown these on here before, but um, I only ever see these at Walmart. And to me, this is the best flavor in the last moments of the store, they were gone. So I got some there. I got two, great flavor. These are um, prebiotic, not probiotic. Yeah, these are prebiotic, like gut health type stuff. But they're like, they taste like grape soda with not as much sugar. Um, four grams of sugar. I like the flavor. And then I saw this one that I haven't tried before, ginger lemon. So it made me think maybe it's like a ginger ale. So I haven't tried that one, but all the other flavors. Wait, did I try this? I don't know, but all the other flavors that I tried, there was like a Coca-Cola one, a root beer one, and I forget, there was one other one that I did try, and they were nasty, I didn't like them at all. So I figured I'll try this one to see, and I think since it's ginger, it's probably like a ginger ale. And then that's it. So yeah, that's my little mini Whole Foods haul. Now I'm about to make something to eat, and then I have this, um, like foot, not foot, this shoe shelf for my closet because my closet is a mess. So I'm gonna put that together and try to organize the coat closet. This was pretty crooked the whole time. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. But yeah, I'm gonna eat and then I will see you guys when I do the closet. <laughs> better 
So in here, I put, as you saw, the blankets, and then I just threw my winter um, scully on top with the little fur ball. And then in here, like I mentioned, my brother gave me um, like shoe boxes, and I found something to do with them. So in this one up here, I just have some sunblock, some extra, like the little Kleenex tissues in there, and then a mini umbrella, which I rarely use. And then in this one is um, like workout stuff. So I got ankle weights that I still never used yet. <laughs> and then these are the sliders, like the ab sliders, and then a bunch of uh, resistance bands. And then in here are my hats. So instead of everything being thrown, now it's organized. And then you saw me struggling with this, but I, I changed between um, this backpack and my actual purse. So instead of having to dig in and out for the keys, I wanted to get like a hook. And I actually remembered I had this. I, I'm sure I had this for years. I have no idea what it came with, where it came from, but I knew it was around somewhere. So it came in handy. And I was going to get the little plastic ones. Um, you know which one I'm talking about with the sticky back. But I was like, since I'm going to be putting my bag on here, it's not super heavy, but my wallet's in there. And I have like, you know, a regular full size wallet. I didn't want it to end up ripping down. So I got my keys on this side and then the bag on this side. And then the stuff that's already hanging in there. And then my shoes. This was this was easy to put together. It was another one of those things with, uh, it takes a, a moment or two when you're doing it by yourself, but it was easy, quick and easy. And then on this side, this is my um, tripods and then my ring light. And then my yoga mat, the bar, um, the bar for the gym. I don't know what that's called. And then my weights right there and my kettlebell. So, oh, I think it looks so much better. I have to figure out, I don't want to keep that there. So I have to figure out where I'm going to end up putting that. But I'm happy with how it turned out. I think it's cute. And, and I have my photo albums. Let me show you. Because they were up there, but I don't know if, I don't, I feel like I don't want them there. Like, I don't know. Like, it doesn't look horrible. Because I guess the kind of the point was there to have it there because when people come over and hang their coats up they might want to look at it <laughs> but um yeah so i mean it doesn't look horrible but i don't know i don't really want them there but yeah that's that i guess I don't know. Tell me what you think. Does it look okay? Should I keep them off? I don't really like it, but I guess for now. And then I like this kind of tucked away to the side, but since you can't see it when you first open it, I don't know if I should move it over. I mean, obviously I don't have like a color theme or anything like that. Like it's just organized now. But I don't know. Let me know what you think. But yeah, now we're good to go. Nice and neat. I can see the floor. And it's not a mess anymore. I forgot that I have this as well to put in there. That way it can smell nice and fresh. All right, so I'm going to clean up this mess behind me, but I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, thank you for joining us. And if you've been here again, thank you so much. You know, I appreciate you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.